So how, how much you for food? one night? Till Sunday. Till Sunday? Mm-hmm. You got hotel or B&B? Hotel. Oh, okay, okay, that's fine, that's fine. Bring me on the 10. Richie? Yeah, I'm trying to see my shot like that. Like an 8. Like an 8. I ain't gonna lie, I get that. That's, that's, a good, that's a good chance for me getting your number tight shit. But I ain't asking for your number tight shit. I'm, I'm really asking for like... How much for one night? Ooh, how much? Yeah, how much? One night? Yeah. This pussy power. Bitch! Pussy power. Pussy power. Hey! I'm gonna say. Listen, man, I got money. I'm gonna say like. 450. 450? 450. That's 100? Like 550? 450. 450. Yeah. Oh, that ain't much, man. Okay. That ain't much. For one night, right? One night. Alright, for sure. You know what I'm talking about, though, right? Mm-hmm. What you talking about? The hotel. Hey, how much for one night for the hotel? It was high. You it said was it was high? It was high. But you just said 450. Y'all get on my nerves. What you talking about? Hey, girls got dirty minds, man. No cap. Uh-huh. This is modern day society. <laughs> <laughs> it is. Go ahead, gentlemen. The floor is yours. Hey, all I gotta say is, yo, that's that's not wifey. That's not wifey listen. material. <laughs> listen, she's not. Listen, she's not no Betty Crocker. She's not no Dodge Caravan driving, um, baking cakes, organizing lunch. No, that's not it. You know, what I mean? and then on top of that, she's like four fifty. She said, "This this pussy power. This pussy power." Guys, those are those are the type of women you have fun with and you do unimaginable things to. <laughs> unimaginable things to. Things that you laugh when y'all see her around the town. <laughs> you know, but you and your friends can giggle, y'all have something to talk about. Like in any other way, like any woman who comes here on vacation to Miami, I would not even talk to. You. I know what you're here for. Like why? Why are you like? If you're not here vacation and you don't have your mom or brother or family with you, there's really no reason for me to talk to you. Cause you're away from your whoever who you with, where you live at, somewhere in Pennsylvania or Detroit, and you're here to get your your back blown. And you know there's a bunch of niggas with money here, so I wouldn't even talk to no woman who comes here on vacations here. If you with a group of girls, I can't trust you. That's my take on that. Okay. I, I, I'm going to go, maybe as a former resident living in Miami, you know, for seven, eight years, I've been to Miami Beach many times, day and night. No but tourists of women from Atlanta, Philly, Detroit, LA, Houston, Dallas, Denver, Boston, come down for four or five days just to have fun. And get that black phone blown out. Find something. That's how it is. Like I said, I remember the time Miami Beach used to be classy when I first yeah. moved there. It was, it was, it was very classy, mm-hmm. highly classy. What's changing? Social media. When I would tell you about social media, um, different, uh, looking at different places around the, around the country, looking at different places around the world. Oh, I want to go here. I want to go there. And, uh, what's what's cost to y'all? Uh, Miami. How can we get there? Spirit, Spirit Airlines, Delta Airlines, probably Spirit. You know, it's, it's cheap. It's cheap to fly to Miami. Fact. It's very, it's very cheap to fly to Miami. So what I'm seeing is, I'm not surprised. I'm not surprised. Like I said, as a former resident, I've seen it a lot. Women, like I said, women in Miami want to have fun twerking, twerking on cars, twerking on top of the cars. They doing everything, yo. And boom. Oh, Memorial Day weekend? When it gets shut down? You go down, it's nothing but twerking. Nothing. You can twerk, see twerking to every corner. Facts. But that, but <laughs> like I said, I'm speaking as a former Miami resident. I know, I know what the hell's going down, but hey, fellas. And also, look how easy it's say. He says, hey, how much? And she's like, oh, are oh, you going to pay me for, for, for this? For sure? For the money? Yeah. That's how easy it is, yo. Really? He, he was just saying, he just went straight on. 
And you and, and the thing is, that's how you can catch a woman. And, and like I said, just just be real with them. Like I said, be fair with them. And mm-hmm. you can see if they if they wipe wipe the material or not. Just by what they say. That's yeah. my take. That's my take. Yeah. So I don't know how y'all want me to go PG thirteen or y'all want me to go hardcore. Which one? Which one? Y'all we want go, 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 go hard. Okay, 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 okay. Mind you, I don't know this girl from a can of pain, so I'm not gonna talk about the girl directly. But I'm gonna just talk about the action right there. That's a straight up whore's ass action. I think anybody's aware of that. Number one, most see. I always talk about this on the on the previous live stream we did. We talk about what is plaguing in the, in the black community. I keep saying. I'm gonna say it again. Is the whole ass rappers, female rappers that's portraying themselves into these girls' lives and is becoming making girls like that. See, Carly B had a song that say, My pussy ain't free. That's why you gotta pay for it. So that's why she's saying, Hey, my pussy ain't pretty. That's why I gotta pay. That's why you gotta pay for it. So guess what? Niggas now saying, You know what? We're not gonna do all the taking you out to dinner, taking you out to a restaurant, do what we gotta do to finesse you. We're just gonna give you the money straight up, get what you gotta get, and get the fuck out of our face. Speak it, Roddy. And that's what's happening. See, this right here, they think it's a game. They think it's a joke. This is reality. Here. Women have a low self esteem with themselves. They put these down for sale. That's straight up prostitution. So, why the hell man in prison for when the women say this? This is the cause for my JJ. Let's keep it real. Let's keep it 100. This right here is just straight up trash. And that's why I keep saying our community is trash. And like you can see, there's some type of women that's in our community is trash as well, and they just need to be thrown away, be done with. That's my take on it. I don't know you guys have any final take. Look, I can't have to drink a sip of water because it's real fucking tall. It's, that's, that's how it hey. is, yo. Hey, there's no wedding bells with that. And, and I'll tell so you that's, this, if that's, if that's the ahead. case, they, if that's the case, they want to, like I said, like these women want to sell this stuff, hey, make make our prostitution legal. Hey, yeah. Basically. I agree. I agree. I mean, say, I mean, I can't agree with that. Doing it a long time ago. Prostitution should be illegal and let these women get what they worth. She's only worth $400, pretty much. Mm-hmm. She could at least sell a million dollars. That's okay. She got some form of value. She said $400. Right. What type of value is that? Come on now. Basically. At the end of the day, guys, let us know what you think in the comment. Do you agree with her? Because you know some women actually agree with her, so you never know. Do you agree with her? Jimmy, do you agree with her or do you disagree? Let us know what you think in the comment. Make sure you like, share, and subscribe, and hit that notification bell on the right-hand side. Because remember, we go live each and every Sunday, 7.30 Eastern Time. Thank you for tuning in to KF Culture Radio. We out. Peace. Peace.